Uh, so uh, this book, Factfulness uh, by Roslings, uh, I think this is a great book and um, it is great because it uh, is about visualization of the world's um, state of affairs and um, the basic message I think is that uh, the world is getting better contrary to what uh, many people would feel and intuitively think about the world and you know you don't have to be pessimistic when the world is actually getting better in terms of uh, you know uh, life conditions and education access to education and uh, populations living in parliamentary democracy and so on. Uh, so, you know, some people feel that the world is getting worse and worse, and probably the world is uh, coming close to a um, uh, terrible end. And, you know, but that that is not actually, uh, you know, something that is compatible with the facts. I mean, the facts are that the world is getting better and better. Uh, that is the basic uh message of this book and uh, the Rothlings uh, conveying the message with really cleverly crafted uh, ways of visual communication. And I, I think that's a great service done by this book and I really enjoyed reading this book. Having said that, um, you know, it is also a fact that people do have emotions, both positive and ne negative. And when you uh, see people with negative emotions, you can really say that they are wrong. I mean, when you have emotion, um, there's no correct or wrong emotion. You do have that emotion. So even though the world is getting better, uh, some people might become pessimistic from time to time. Some people might become dis depressed and some people might uh, want to complain about the state of affairs in the world today. And that is perfectly all right. I mean, the human brain uh, deals with the uncertainties we are facing in many different ways. And I don't believe that a world where 100% of the world's population are po po pe uh, po optimistic would be a robust world. I mean, some of us would be uh, optimistic based on facts. And some, peop some of us might be uh, pessimistic, uh, probably contrary to the facts, but that is the diversity of emotion that we have in our society. And probably there will be some significance to in that kind of um, heterogeneous uh, state of the mind. And, you know, when you are facing uh, with somebody um, who is pessimistic despite the facts, you can really say that, hey, your emotions are wrong. I mean, you really need to accept his or her um, state of mind uh, as they are. And, you know, that's, I think, uh, one really one important way of respecting people. So this book is a really great book. And also uh, the what Stephen, uh, Professor Stephen Pinker of Harvard University have been, has been doing is also great. Uh, Pinker has been arguing that the world is getting better and better, uh, uh, despite uh, some of the concerns of the people. And, you know, that is uh, really wonderful information. But I, I don't think that uh, pe emotions that people have are disinformation or misinformation. They are real emotions. And in addition to factfulness, probably we should have mindfulness of people's emotions. Because as I said, there are no correct or wrong emotions. There, there, these are real emotions. And even if uh, some people might be actually persuaded to be pessimistic, uh, optimistic, I mean, uh, by reading this book, uh, some people might actually remain pessimistic still. And that is perfectly all right, because that's their freedom. There's this freedom, wonderful freedom to have whatever emotion that uh, you might want to have. And actually, that is an almost unconscious trend. I mean, it's not a conscious choice. I mean, you do have some emotions and that has nothing to do with the state of affairs uh, of the world uh, today and in the near future. So in addition to factfulness, which is a really great way of looking at the world, we do need to have a mindfulness of people's emotions. And as I repeat, there are no correct or wrong emotions. Every emotion counts. Every person should be respected. 
and uh, we uh, I think we need this balance between factfulness and mindfulness of people's emotion. So if you like this kind of discussion, please subscribe to this channel. There will be tons of more to come in the coming days. I think.